Hey everybody, welcome back to another fantastic episode of Ready to Die Fighting. I'm Chris. I'm sitting on a bouncy yoga ball. And I made a little table from a <laughs> archery target. And I wanted to show you guys what I got the boy for Christmas. Well, one of the one of the things I got him for Christmas. Um, and it is, of course, prepping related. Uh, so let's see. Got him. It's, so as if you watched my recent videos, you know that I've been reading Squiggly Lines. And it's a book about map reading, orienteering, mapping compass navigation with a focus on adventure racing and row gaining. And so I had never heard of row gaining or adventure racing before, but I found this book and I started reading about it. I'm like, that sounds pretty cool. I kind of want to do that, but it seems pretty intense. And then I look around and it turns out Michigan has some adventure races planned for 2021. The first one being in March. And it is, it's not as intense as what this guy talks about. He's like a professional adventure racer and his races are go for days with sleep deprivation and hundreds of kilometers of distance. And um, that's too much for us, especially right now. But Michigan has some kind of short-term, maybe amateur, or just fun, recreational adventure races. First one is in March. It seems to be more navigation-based than anything else. Um, and I described it to the boy, and he's all in. He's pretty excited about it. So we're going to do that. But the first thing we got to do for our training is he has to learn how to navigate. And I want to let him do as much of it as possible. I know how to use a map and compass. I'm, um, you know, not extensively, like I've never <laughs> helicoptered in like Bear Grylls someplace and needed to navigate to some certain little spot or anything, but I know how to use a map and compass, but he's got to learn how to do it. And I want him to kind of take the lead during this race and, and make sure we can navigate to where we need to go or different checkpoints, whether we're biking or hiking or whatever canoeing well i don't think they have all that i think this is more just of a hike um in march but then they have a bigger one coming up in i think in september and that involves canoeing hiking and biking and navigating by compass so that'll be really cool so to get him started i got him his own little sunto compass uh, i forget the model of this i think it's a let's see if it says it it was on the inexpensive scale, but still a good compass made by Sunto. Um, it came with an emergency whistle. It's got a sighting mirror, uh, the adjustable bezel, you know, that basic stuff that you absolutely need. Uh, it does not have, <clears throat> actually, let me think. The... I don't see where you can adjust for declination, but it does look like Can you adjust for declination? <laughs> I probably should have checked that first. <laughs> it looks like maybe you can actually. I'm not sure. I'm not sure on that one. I'll have to research that. It, it does have some markings on the back, but I don't see a screw or anything that allows you to adjust for it. So uh, I'm going to do some research on that. Find out for you guys. Um, but at any rate, it's a nice little compass. And so he has this. And then I got him. I printed out several maps of some of the parts we normally go to. I got these from Cal Topo, Cal Topo, however you want to pronounce it. And this is a fantastic website. It's completely free. And um, you can print out topographic maps from all over the place and you can customize them. You can add in different markers and lines and whatever points you want. It's absolutely fantastic. Um, and then I just use some contact paper to laminate them so that we have nice reusable waterproof maps that he can mark on. Let me see if there's one that I put some markings on and no, I didn't grab one. I printed out several. Um, 
So then I just grabbed a, a few here. So, but you can highlight different trails and use different symbols and you know whatever. It, it's really cool. I'm gonna do a like a tutorial, or whatever, because even though it's a really good website, it's not the most intuitive. Like I had to play with it quite a bit before I figured out how to use it. It's a little, it's a little awkward, but very very nice resource. And I think for twenty dollars a year, you can get you can become a member or get like some kind of um, I forget what that is, subscriber, whatever, and print out larger scale maps, or I should say larger size maps. I can only print out eight and a half by 11, I think it is for free. Um, but you can print larger maps. You can save your maps in the cloud or whatever, so you can adjust them and reprint and blah, 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 blah. But I will give a full thing on Kaltopo one of these days. Don't know when, but one day, one day, subscribe, subscribe. Hit that notification bell and then you find out when I do it. So we got some maps of some of our favorite parks. Um, and then, where is it? <laughs> I got him this and I may need to, I don't know if you'll be able to see it. Use a piece of paper. Can you see that? It's see-through, but this is a UTM coordinate scale. Um, like basically a grid reader. Is that easier to see it that way? So you can use this to basically pinpoint very small, exactly where to go. Think of kind of like a longitude and latitude. Uh, these maps, I believe with Kaltopo, you actually have the option of printing them. Sorry, let me grab a good one. You have the option of printing them with either longitude and latitude or no grid or with the UTM grid and I printed them with the UTM grid. And so you can use this grid reader to um, basically pinpoint very specific small spots. And so that's the main thing I've been trying to teach him um, right out the gate. It has been a bit difficult. He hasn't learned decimals yet. He hasn't, he's only got a basic grasp of fractions so it is, and he also doesn't know degrees or anything yet. So it is tricky to teach this, but I'm trying to baby him into it because when we start doing these races, they're going to give us, you know, here's your checkpoint is at this location and we need to be able to find it on the map and navigate to it. So, um, especially since it's cold and snowy and stuff out wintertime in Michigan, even though it's been pretty mild so far, it's still, eh, don't want to spend a ton of time outside. This we can do inside and really work on finding different coordinates um, in, in a few different ways. And I think I will also make a separate video on how to do that as well with this. Let's see. And then I thought I brought it down here, but I don't see them now. He also got some ranger beads. And he already had... Um, uh, magnifying glass, or sorry, not magnifying glass, binoculars. And so he's got this, this, uh, I believe Roscoe makes this. It's a water bottle holder. And he's got the molly webbing, so you can attach it to a pack. And it had these, these uh, D rings here. So I just, he already had this. And so I just bought this strap so he can carry it nice and easy. We've got multiple Nalgene bottles, and he also has a really nice um, hydro flask that fits in here perfectly. So he can have some water with him. He can either attach this to a back bike pack or to his bike with these Molly straps. And this stuff fits perfectly in here. <coughs> with room for snacks. Um, his ranger beads can fit in there, his binoculars fit in there, he can fit some snacks in there, you know, whatever. And he's also got um, more webbing that you can attach another pouch. So we'll probably get him a first aid kit, just like a small, um, another little molly pouch. That'll be his first aid kit and stick that on there. And he's got a little portable exploration kit. And so I think that's pretty cool. He liked, He wasn't overly excited about it. It's not toys, it's not video games, but it's still pretty cool. And I think once we get to adventuring, he'll really appreciate having it. And um, to really incentivize him 
<laughs> to learn this skill. I told him what we're going to do for training to get ready for our adventure racing is I'm going to teach him how to do these maps, learn these maps and all that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave him in the parking lot in the car at the park. I'm going to go hide some gift cards for him or something that he wants. I'm going to give him the coordinates and then he has to go find it. So we're going to do, excuse me, treasure hunting. And uh, I think this will be a blast as to a great way to teach him how to read maps, use a compass properly. I think it's a really good um, survival skill to have. And because uh, you never know, you're out there camping and hiking. People get lost in the woods all the time. It's easy for it to happen. Trail can, you, you know, you're not paying attention. You go off on the wrong trail. You know, like the example I gave him, you know, what if a, a bear or something comes out? or some other animal or whatever, and you just take off running. At that point, you're not paying attention. Or maybe he's walking Erie or Chala and drops their leash or they break loose some kind of way. And they take off running. And he takes off running after them to catch them. You know, you can easily slip. You slip and fall down a, a hill. And maybe it's too steep to climb straight up. You got to figure out how to get around back to the trail. Even though maybe you can see it, you can't get to it. You got to find another way. It's, there's so many things that can happen when you're out in the wilderness and we're out in the wilderness. <laughs> you know, we camp, we hike, we bike, you know, these things can happen. So having a map with you and a compass and having the skills to know how to read them, I think is, is, is key. And so he's old enough to start learning how to do it. Just got to give him a little extra motivation. And then as we start competing, I think it'll really be fun. And then I also think of like, you know, the geocaching and, uh, stuff like that. You know, I think it's a good opportunity for him to get some exercise, get outside, maybe make some friends, have a new hobby. So I think this is going to be a great little starter kit for him to do that. Uh, someone gifted me a Adventure Quest mat case. Um, so this seems pretty nice. It's uh, supposedly 100% waterproof. I have not tested it yet. I just got it for Christmas. Um, but it got great views on reviews online. I'm excited to use it for sure. So that's what we're working on. Um, oh, last thing we got, I picked up some grease pencils. These are made by Listo. And uh, what's nice about these is um, you just turn and you get some, not lead, but marker, <laughs> marking pen comes out. So it's nice and easy to use. Uh, it comes with refills and you can write on these laminated maps pretty easily and then it just erases so you know I can mark points for him uh, like that I just circled a point uh, if you can see it right there and then just I mean I use my sleeve you know just a dry cloth or whatever it rubs off pretty easy but it doesn't rub off with your finger uh, the mark stayed on see now it's gone um, pretty well uh, even with with water like I just kind of tested it out in the house sprayed some water on it they stayed you know just using my thumb just folding around moving around it never rubbed off like a uh, dry erase or something may have so I thought that was pretty cool so we got a box of these we got our grid readers we've got compasses we both have the um, ranger beads which like I said I thought I brought them down here and we got a bunch of maps and so, um, and we've got plans to have some fun with these things. And we were actually able to go out a couple days ago. It was warm out. <laughs> it was in like 42 and kind of sunny. We went out for a hike at Kensington, met up some friends there, and I gave him some coordinate points. You know, I just wrote them down. I had my map and I said, um, I don't remember the points and it wasn't this map. This is a different park. But I gave him a couple of different points. You know, I was like, okay, point A is right here. Find it on the map. And, you know, I helped him use his grid reader. We found the points. And I was like, all right, that's our starting point. And so we drove to that starting point. I'm like, okay, now let's find point B. And uh, it was a trail. But there was a trail where there was, um, I think, three different directions we could go in. And it split off in a couple different places. And so I found another coordinate point. I gave him the, the coordinates. Used the Grid reader again, let's find point B. We started at A, let's find point B. Showed him how to use the compass to figure out which trail we should go on, which direction we should go on that trail. And he was able to lead us to point B. Uh, so that was 
really nice. I mean, needed help, but that was the first time. That was the first time. So we're going to keep working on it, keep doing that. And yeah, definitely if I, if I hide some, a bag of chips in the woods, <laughs> he'll find it. <laughs> All right. So that's it for this one, guys. Just wanted to share some of the fun stuff we've been doing and what we're planning on doing. And of course, we'll be making some videos when we do go on these Rogaine's and adventure races. And, um, 2021 it's right around the corner just in a few days i'm planning i'm planning that i will stop being so lazy and get my act together and start editing videos again so these videos will hopefully be a little bit shorter i'll have my nice cool little white border and color effects and all that but right now it's, things are just crazy it's crazy boys out of school christmas time shenanigans <laughs> hopefully at the new year i'll get back to making nicer quality videos thank you for everyone who has subscribed and liked and shared my videos we did hit our goal of 500 for the by the end of 2020 there's uh, uh we've got about a week left and we're already over 500 so thank you very much next year i don't know i, I would love to be at a thousand by the end of next year and see if that'll happen I don't know. Maybe that's a low goal. Maybe that's a high goal, but let's, let's see if we can do it. Thank you very much. I hope you have a happy holiday season. Stay safe, stay warm, or if you're someplace warm, stay cool, whatever. And I'll catch you in the next video.